Hey there, Scorpio. How are you? Welcome back for another Scorpio love reading. Thank you guys so, so much for your support, Scorpio. I really do appreciate you guys so much. Uh, it has been a beautiful journey with you guys, and I just pray that we can continue to grow, evolve, manifest, and be happy while we're enduring having this human experience, Scorpio. So, Scorpio, this is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. Only take the part that fits and discard the rest, Scorpio. Now, I heard something, I heard I heard somebody X or somebody person said, they said, she, Scorpio don't want me. She, if Scorpio wanted me, man, I run back. Somebody's person will run back to you, Scorpio, if you would give them half a chance, but... I know most of y'all don't care, but I just have to tell you what I heard. And I also um, kept shuffling the cards and I kept getting two, a pair of cards that kept on flipping out together. And it was the two of wands and the two of cups. And so the two of cups, the two of wands represents um, decisions, progress, um, uh, stability, uh, a good outcome. You know, it, it, it's like it has the potential of really building some security with a person here. So it seems like this is like the energy is coming your way. Partnerships are coming your way, Scorpio, because the Two of Cups represents partnership as well. But it also represents a very, very strong spiritual connection in a partnership. So you got two, two, Scorpio. So some Scorpios are ready or about to be in a beautiful long term relationship and it's going to be based off of love, okay? But your overall energy, though, is the Seven of Wands. Now, that's Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy. So this is standing your ground. This is being defense, defensive here. Uh, you know, you may just be, you may have set boundaries, some very, very strong, intense boundaries uh, around your perimeters of your heart, Okay. You probably got signs out in your yard saying, give me 50 feet, don't come near me, don't say nothing, don't even look my way. But Seven of Wands is your overall energy here, Scorpio. So let's see what Spirit wants you to know, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, show me what's coming towards Scorpio in love and in romance. Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to be made aware of to... Oof. They want to come out. They want to come out. Come on out. Come on out and speak then. We want you to come out there in the high priestess. Pisces energy. The chariot. Cancer energy. Ooh. See, someone may not be talking to you now, Scorpio. Or this the high, uh, high priestess energy could be you not talking. Or it could be someone not saying nothing. So someone wants to release a burden. Someone is overloaded here. Now, some of you Scorpios, you could be overworked. You could be stressed out. You could probably need to relax and unwind here. But I feel like if this is your energy, Scorpio, in the Ten of Wands here, this is why you have that 2-2 two -two because it represents partnership. Someone is coming in to lighten the load, Scorpio. Oh, wouldn't that be nice, Scorpio? Oh, I, don't I don't even know what that's like. <laughs> I'm like, what that be like? But someone's coming in to lighten the load, Scorpio, with that 2-2. Two, two. Someone is coming in to lighten the load because you got a partnership, a very strong partnership. Ooh, of course they are. Ooh, let's see you starting up already with this Empress energy. It could be a Libra. It could be a fire sign here. Uh, but this is the Empress here. It's almost like somebody saying, hold on, is the world coming to it? I know that ain't Scorpio out there cutting them edges. I know Scorpio ain't out there pumping her gas, man. What the heck is the world? Come? Baby, come here. I hope you didn't pay for it, Miss Miller. Let me pay for that gas for you. It's almost like someone looks at you as a very, very, um, you're very, very strong and abundant in your energy. But someone, uh, because it's time within this two, two of ones and two of, two of cups energy, it's time for someone to come in and spoil you. Oh. I heard that somebody say, ooh, they said they want to pump your gas, Scorpio. They said they want to cut your yard. They want to unclog any pipes. <laughs> they said that water going to be flowing through when they get through, Scorpio. Ooh. So this Ace of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. This is a passionate, very adventurous, exciting new beginning here, Scorpio. Oh, but you got the moon card here, Scorpio. So this could be fantasies it could be illusions it could be fear let's see spiritual could be a pisces here 
We saw the Empress energy. Let's see, Spirit, show me about Scorpio. Six of Swords. Oof. Come on now. What you got for Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio's love life? Who's coming towards Scorpio? Spirit, show me for Scorpio. Eight of Wands. See, someone coming in. I told somebody's coming in here. Now, it could be somebody is secretly moving towards you. It could be with the Six of Swords, Moon card, and the Eight of Wands. Someone is secretly moving towards you, Scorpio. And they're about to come lighten the low in every way. I say every way. Every way imaginable. Okay, let's just put it like that. Every way imaginable. They come to lighten the low, Scorpio. Ooh, four wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio seem like somebody's serious about you, Scorpio. Of course they are with this empress here. Why wouldn't they be? Because you love yourself and someone else do too. But you got the eight of swords here. Ten of wands, six of swords, eight of swords here. Ooh, what's going on with this? The wheel. The wheel of fortune is here, Scorpio. Let me see. All right, making some room, Scorpio. I'm going to pull another one, another set. All right, give me a couple more cards for Scorpio. All right, Spirit. Who or what is coming towards Scorpio? Ooh, five of pentacles, Scorpio. Oof. I probably should have left well enough alone, huh? It's all right. It's <laughs> seven of cups. Someone seems confused. The temperance card. So you could be dealing with the fire sign. Look, the five of cups. Ooh, Scorpio. Goodness here. Goodness. It just seems like someone's emotions is all over the place when it comes to you. Someone is all over the place when it comes to you, Scorpio. Let's see. I see the king of swords underneath my clarifiers here. It's almost like... It seems like someone wants something with you, Scorpio, but they're so afraid. They're so full of confusion. It's like someone, you know how, you know how there's something broken, but you sometimes you don't know how to repair it. But the only thing you can do is long for it. I feel like someone is longing to be with you, especially if it's someone who, who you may have had a, a bad run with. Uh, they want you back, but they don't know how to repair it is what I see. But they really, really hold you in high regards here. Someone is really, really admiring you, everything about you, Scorpio. I feel like either someone is going through things here, because I saw the judge, but I saw it in reverse, but it's judgment. Someone, you know, the same old same thing, because we all constantly receive karma. It just depends on what you put out there. So if, if someone is receiving karma, everyone received karma. See, the wheel is here. It just depends on what side of karma you on. It could be that someone is not doing so good. <laughs> someone might not be doing so good. They may be on the bottom of, of, of karma here, Scorpio. But I hope you got something better coming out of here. So let me clarify. Let's see. Let's see. Because so far I see the, the Empress, the Ace of Wands, and this Four of Wands, and this Eight of Wands. This is communication here. Something taking off here. Some type of celebration here. Some type of commitment. Celebration. <laughs> Excuse me. Look. Celebration of a commitment here. See? <laughs> I told you. See? Ooh, Scorpio. Now, look. Don't come for me, Scorpio. This could be someone new. Let, let's just do the card. Because this temperance really is usually like that anyway. The six of swords to someone is moving away from something. Let's see what's going on with these, these dark cards. Now, what's up with this eight of swords for Scorpio? I like uh, the secret garden, the five of wands here. So someone is trapped. <laughs> someone is trapped. Now, it could be inner conflict because the eight of swords is mental, but the five of wands is action. This could be physical. Either this person is surrounded by toxic energy. Ooh, the devil card. See, some of y'all dealing with the Capricorn here. <sighs> Scorpio. Now it doesn't not it doesn't necessarily mean that this person is 
I just feel like it's this person, they're external, whoever they are around is toxic and karmic. It's some type of attachment. Now, this person may have some type of addiction here, Scorpio. They're bound to something here. And you have justice here. Now, for somebody, could be for a very few, could even be for one person. Your person is locked up. They're part of the justice system here. And they fighting and, and doing everything they have to do to survive in there. Ooh, Scorpio. And I feel like they're waiting on their judgment. Your person could be in jail or prison waiting on judgment. And the environment that they're around is extremely toxic because all they do is fight. Oh, wow. I see that for some. And for others, this person is stuck in a situation. Stuck in a situation. They're bound to a situation. Now, either it's another relationship. But I just, either it's another relationship or this person. Okay. Give another card for this justice. Like I said, some of y'all dealing with the Libra. Justice is clarified by the Three of Cups. This person is bound by... Um, A third party here. I feel like this person may be bound by a third party here. A third party here, Scorpio. I'm trying to get it out, Scorpio. Let me see what all is going on. I want to know, Spirit. Give me another card here. Give me another card for this Eight of Swords. Who is this person bound to, Spirit? Break it down for me. They're, re they're stressing out about a Nine of Swords. Damn. Oh, Scorpio, this we start with this clarifying the eight of swords. You get the five of wands, the devil, justice, three of cups, and nine of swords. It's almost like this person is stressed out, or where maybe something is about to come out here. Something is something is about to be exposed. Somebody's stressed out and worried about something. This person is worried about either up to three people. But I feel like this person is fussing and fighting with a group of people here, Scorpio. Somebody is toxic. Someone got a lot of toxic shit going on. This is probably why you have the Six of Swords that they're trying to get out of, it, Scorpio. Ooh, clarify the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here, Spirit? Six of Swords is the Hermit card. So this person, I think this person wants to go and hide in Scorpio. They want to drop off the face of the earth. I feel like whoever they're leaving in this karmic ass, whatever this environment is, they don't ever want to be heard from these people again. They don't even want to ever, they don't, they don't want to be found by them. I feel like they're going to move away, block everybody and just live as a hermit, stay secluded so that they can come have a new beginning with you. Ooh, I didn't see that coming. Look, now, before y'all, look, don't go ham on, on the exes. Look, you see me pulling these cards, make sure you can see. I don't want to hear nothing. What come out is what come out. I can't control what come out, Scorpio. I can't. And, and look, I'm just saying, only you have the, the power and the control to stop an ex or allow an ex. But even then, you're still going to have to participate on your life. You can't just sit at home and watch terror and expect... For the mailman to drop them off, they might. I don't know. They sending all types of stuff to the mail. I don't know. You know, they used to have mail order brides, by the way, now. I'm just saying. <laughs> Anything is possible. <laughs> See, they trying to get ghosts from whoever they leaving because they trying to start over. They need love and they like, they trying to get the hell away from sword energy. Okay, clarify this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. It's the three of wands here. See, they're waiting on their, sh they're waiting to get back with you. Like I said, I feel like this person has been waiting for another chance with you. Like I said, for somebody, I heard somebody person say, she is Scorpio don't want me because if Scorpio did, I run back. Somebody has been waiting. They, they see a future. They see a future, but they want it to be with you in this ace of cups. Now I'm just saying, Ooh, three of wands. See, they trying to manifest you. <laughs> this is what they're doing. They're, they're waiting on their shift to come in. This is a mental manifesting thing. This is this is a manifesting three thing in itself because you have to be able to visualize it uh, mentally. You can see if you can see it mentally, you can see it. Look, these are one and the same, the three of ones in the magician card. This person is manifesting somebody. <laughs> 
Oh, Scorpio, it could be a Gemini here. What's up with this moon card here? Let's see what's up with this moon card. You got Pisces strong in here. Clarify the moon card. But why is this moon card here for Scorpio? The moon card? Oh, shit. Because somebody's in love and their emotion, they in their feelings. Something about this moon energy has had your person really in their feelings, Scorpio. They really had to face their fears and their fears is they they emotional about you. Somebody person is emotional about them, Scorpio. Some One of y'all person is extremely emotional about y'all. The moon energy is affecting them differently, especially if they are a water sign. And they may not even be a water sign, but their emotions are coming to the surface now. This moon energy, Scorpio. Ooh. And all they can think about is manifesting you back by visualizing you, by speaking you out, and by fantasizing about you, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio, that's so sweet. And I don't need you in the comment section saying, Well, it, well, you wouldn't think it's so sweet if he, if he, um, if he um if he didn't put enough sugar in the tea. <laughs> see, I ain't gonna go there. I ain't for to be nasty and ugly because I choose to see the glasses being half full or running over, okay? Something petty like that. Look, please heal, please heal. I encourage you to heal, sweetie. Please. It doesn't happen overnight. You have to constantly constantly heal you have to constantly move towards higher ground emotionally as well as spiritually in order to release the pain of the past or it's going to hinder you now and you're going to look there go that emperor that's who they thinking about see <laughs> some of y'all may have a baby with this person but they feel like you just can't do no wrong they say you the shit you're in the class all by yourself see this is how they feel about you i'm telling you and i feel like this person may be heartbroken or maybe they feel like they broke your heart i feel like this person's broken heart with all this conflict going on in their life i'm telling you for whoever this is, your person is going through a lot of things. Your person could have either been locked up or your person is stuck in a legal situation with a, multiple people because of some type of altercation here. And they're stressed out and they're worried about it. And all they want to do is put that shit behind them and move forward away from that uh, and then just isolate themselves from drama and confusion because they got you in their per per peripheral <laughs> why they manifesting you they manifesting you honey because they in their feelings about you scorpio clarify this empress for this king of cups and this moon energy spirit what is this about for scorpio show me how they feel see that's ten of one they feel like it's a bird and they want to release a bird in scorpio Oh, Scorpio, see, look at that 10 of 1. Like I say, Scorpio, I feel like for some of you Scorpios, like I said in the beginning, for some of you Scorpios, when I said I saw the 2 of Wands and the 2 of Cups, some type of partnership, some type of, uh, it's, it's, it's a good time for something to come in in a couple. It's something about couples here that's coming together here. It's love relationships, support. You need support whether you know it or not, especially if you're this empress because the empress, she has to have her emperor. Yeah, I mean, the other ones will do, but you know, the empress don't need to be out there doing all those things. And I feel like you're going to release a lot of burdens when the right person come your way, whether it's this person or not. And this person, whatever they got out of Scorpio, I feel like they want to release burdens too, Scorpio. I don't even know if that Ten of Wands one will come out. Look, they go that Five of Pentacles again too, but I feel like, clarify this Ten of Wands. Three of Pentacles here. So this could be, wait a minute. This Ten of Wands, three. But, so this is some type of collaboration here. They want to release burdens of their emotions here. Either this person want to release burdens. Wait a minute, I've been running my mouth. Hold on, Scorpio. Let me see. Clarify this Empress and this King of Cups. Seven of Wands here. They go that seven of wands underneath the bottom of the deck. Why is the seven of wands here? Now, this, this might be this person's coming in to fight for you. Okay, the star card. So, see, this person's coming in. For some of y'all, this person's coming in to fight for this connection, Scorpio. to the queen of pentacles. This person's coming in to fight for this connection because of who you are. You're the empress, Scorpio. You don't need them, but the, it's... 
they obviously hold you in high regard, Scorpio. Because look, their emotions is, is, is <laughs> they're having to face their emotions and how they feel about you. Somebody, a person is manifesting them back. That feel like they're going, they in the court system though, but I feel like they want them back here now. What's up with this Ace of One? What's up with this Five of Pentacles for Scorpio? Why is this here, the Five of Pentacles? Five of Pentacles is the Page of Cups. Now either this person left you out in the cold or this person, this person wants to apologize perhaps for chasing money or, or making you feel left out of their life here. Or this person wants to come out of the cold. They want to come out of being on the outside of your life. See, they go that will of fortune again because I feel like, because I feel like this person hasn't been doing so good with the will of fortune. Like I say, it ain't on their side. <laughs> They're at the bottom of that wheel. I'm telling you with all this chaos and this devil energy, Somebody going to court about something here. I feel like this person is in their head about the outcome of some type of court case here. That's what I keep seeing. And I feel like it has to do with perhaps either a third party here or them entertaining too much here. They could have been entertaining a third party here and they're stressing out about it here. Ooh, clarify the wheel for this five of pentacles. strength card for some of y'all it's a leo here i feel like this person is not doing so good here i feel like they're trying to hold themselves back and i feel like they're trying to hold themselves together because i feel like the only thing that's making this person continue to go on is the hope that they could come back and heal things with you and i feel like they're willing to really try to convince you and really prove their love for you in this seven of wands and that's how they're going to try to heal it, by standing their ground and showing you that they're going to be around this time, Scorpio. For somebody, that's for somebody. Now, what's up with this four wands here for Scorpio? Clarify this four wands for Scorpio. Eight of wands. They're going to eight of wands again. See, you got a message coming in here. I feel like a message, this is what they say, the eight of wands is love message. You got love messages coming in about a commitment here. Four of Wands, that's also considered a twin flame relationship as well. But you got fire, you got four of Wands and eight of Wands here. Clarify this eight of Wands for this four of Wands. See, something is about to make you happy. Something is about to make you happy. So I figure like this must be for the Scorpios who want their person back. Because I feel like you oh, you really wanted a commitment with your person, but either they was running or they were already in a relationship. But whatever they bound to now that they're trying to get out of, is toxic. They're going to end. This is end. This is over. It's dead. It's wicked. It's dead. And it's too toxic. You know how you stay in a relationship so long till the relationship just, just blows up on its own because it's just... You, I guess it's kind of like the tower card that the universe sends your way. It just it just did all this can do. Y'all just going to stay together and be toxic while everybody is yearning for other lovers. You know, that's usually how it is. You What they say, if, if you can't have the one you love, love the one you're with. That's usually how people do. They're not really in love with the one that they're with, but they make it do. But deep down inside, they're constantly yearning for someone else. Now... People do it every day and they live many years as a married couple and, so, and really they, they play love, but deep down their heart is longing for somebody else. Now, I feel like this is the scenario with this one because for somebody, they're going to make you happy with this nine of cups and then they can also feel like you're their wish come true too. Because you do have the star card. You got the, anytime I see the star card and the nine card, that means that all of your wishes, you've been wishing for something. Your wishes are coming true. You're fulfilled. You're happy. Because you look at this nine of cups, she got a big ass chest of gold. Something. This person feels like you're priceless. I'm telling you. They feel like you're everything to them. You would indeed be a wish come true for them. Clarify this nine of cups. See, the fool card. For some of y'all, this is an Aries here, another fire sign here. 
See, somebody finna get a love message from somebody that wants you to start over. They're going to say, baby, just give me another chance. I mean, shit, I ain't perfect. What you want a perfect dude? Is that what you're trying to tell me, Scorpio? You want a perfect dude? Well, baby, I ain't perfect, but maybe I'm perfect for you. I done changed some things. There's a lot of stuff that went on in my life, but I never stopped loving you. But what, what was the use for me running back and forth? Now, look, I ain't going to say I ain't shit. Nah, maybe I ain't shit. But I still ain't shit in love you, though. But I'm just telling you, yeah, I was what old girl was toxic, was karma. You know how you get stuck with somebody in me? Goddamn, look, do you want the truth or not? I'm telling you. I've always been in love with you, but I got stuck. I was already in this relationship, and I just had to break free, and it's over. Now I want you to start over with me. Will you give me another chance? <laughs> This time it's for real, for real. We're gonna do things. We you my girl. We, we we look, we finna do this. Because I already was thinking about you. You think I never stopped thinking about you because me and old girl was no nah, hell no, nah, but I gotta get my shit together. You don't want no broke dude, do you? Well, god dang. Now come on, give me some sugar. <laughs> That's the mind of brown eyes, the Scorpio. <laughs> All right, let's see what's up with this um, Ace of Wands real quick. All right, what's up with this Ace of Wands? What is this for, Spirit for Scorpio? Four Wands. Look, see, I told y'all. <laughs> They want it. They want it with you, Scorpio. They never left their passion for you. Their passion ain't never fizzle out for you. But you know, when you're around so much karmic shit, you gonna become karmic and toxic too. And I'm telling you, most of y'all person had to stay away because they know you're gonna sniff it out. You're gonna start questioning them all them and oh, I'm telling you, this person juggled and it wasn't an easy juggle. Oof, now nah, look. I don't need to hear nobody tell me because I know somebody going to say something. But it's not because I'm trying to tell you to be with somebody. To be honest with you, I don't care. You have to do what's best for you. But I have to tell you based on the energy that I see because Scorpios are not the only one that gets the chance to heal. Everybody gets should heal. But Scorpio gets to decide who's in her life, his, her or his life. And you got always got somebody wanting to come back to you. And it seems like the same scenario. Most of y'all got the soulmate, soul, uh, twin flame, strong spiritual connection with someone who was already with someone else or who chose someone else. It did not work out. And now they done went through some, <laughs> they done got abused mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. And now they come to their senses. And sometimes it takes that because just things, Scorpio, your person pushed you to go on and get your bag. It, it pushed you to, to look after yourself first instead of trying to hurry up and look after the other person, especially a lover. Judge McCarty underneath the bottom of this deck. See? Ooh. Clarify this four ones. This is Judge McCarty going right here. Because this is what they say. You got the four ones twice. They're saying they want you back is what they're saying, Scorpio. They said it just wasn't the right time. I know I didn't do right, but baby, we can heal this. You got the star card and the... uh. The star card and the temperance card. You know you can heal it. Look, the Knight of Cups, see? <sighs> they gonna come in here and they gonna be nervous. And I don't care what they have in their hand as a gift. I don't care how good they smell, how clean shade they are, how whatever, well, how clean and vacuum the car is. Just know that they're gonna be nervous out of their mind, Scorpio. It's gonna take a lot for this person to approach you. But the urge and the love that they have for you is what's going to push them to you. And I'm going to tell you again, you ain't got to kick a man when he down. I'm just saying, because I know I didn't brutalize a lot of them verbally. I had verbally annihilated them in my immature state. And I realized that words does hurt. They do matter. You see how you manifest? You manifest through your words. Remember when we tear down somebody, especially if you say you healed and you don't care about them, why tear them down? You're just only creating karma for yourself. Now, whether it's going to be, it's going to be the same type of energy we put out. So I'm just saying, since we're conscious of it, then we have to, you know, we have to, we have to make that change. And it ain't for them. It's for ourselves, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, clarify this other eight of wands. You got the star card, the temperance card here. Page of wands. They got that message. Look, the eight of wands. And them, see, yeah, somebody finna start 
Either someone has really, really been talking about you or someone really, really wants to talk to you here. Because this is something, this is messages, messages, the eight of ones, messages of love. Like, I feel like this person want to call you and tell you they love you. This is why they come in like, here, look, he's, they're they going to act like a, such a gentleman. This person going to act like the, 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 the person you first met. Look, look how sweet they are. They had enough courtesy to get their ass out of their ride. They ain't standing to the car. Say, come to the window. <laughs> Blowing their horn. And she, come here. Come to the car. you like, well, damn, you pulled up over here. You can't even knock on the door. No, they ain't going to do that. They're a gentleman. This dude going to be out there on your front porch looking all fine and shit. I'm just saying. Gonna be, he going <laughs> to, look, the sun caught underneath the bottom. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo. He going to be all smooth and shit. He going to. Bust out with his iPhone and play y'all favorite song. I'm telling this person finna serenade you. But just know on the inside, this person gonna have a stomach full of butterflies. They're gonna be scared. But they know what makes them happy, Scorpio. And they know who makes them happy. And it's you. They're coming to... Look. <laughs> They're coming to Scorpio. They coming to make Scorpio happy. Or they coming to the one who makes them happy the sun card and the queen of cups that's who they coming to the one who make them happy scorpio so scorpio there could be an age difference between the two of you but they coming to you scorpio Ooh, i forgot I, look i didn't that was not supposed to go there that's supposed to go here look because i'm running my mouth see this go here this queen of cups and the sun card see for some of y'all, this person ain't heard your vo voice in so long just to hear your voice is going to make their heart skip a beat. See, they coming to the Queen of Cups. They coming for their love in you. They need your love, Scorpio. I feel like with this Ace of Cups, I feel like this person saying, Scorpio, I need you. Look, you got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. See? <laughs> The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. See, this is a love relationship. This is based on love right here. This ain't, and this person has a lot of passion for you too, but it's a loving passion. This the I make love to you type of energy. Ooh, Scorpio, that's so sweet. Now, what's up with this uh, wheel card? Clarify the wheel. Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Hierophant. So, someone is either receiving karma or someone is... The will of fortune, something is destined to happen. So I feel like something may be a fated event. Something may be a destiny, a fated, destined event here. Between somebody, look, there go that ten of cups again, see? <laughs> see, I'm telling you because they're regretting it now with the five of cups and the ten of cups. Oh, Scorpio. Look. Knight of Pentacles, they coming in to give you a stable, solid offer here. They're coming in to give you the commitment that you wanted for whoever this is for, Scorpio. And your person could be a Pisces, a Capricorn, a uh, a Leo. I see Leo's heavy in here. I see Pisces. It could be Aries here. So what's up with this Empress here, Spirit? Clarify the Empress for Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with this Empress here. Clarify the Empress. Exciting. It would be. Is that the Queen of Wands? See that Queen of Wands here. They go that Two of Wands. Well, I just covered it. <laughs> I told you I seen the Two of Wands. But I also saw that Two of Cups too. So let's see. The Hangman here. See, some of you, see, you may be holding things up with this person, Scorpio. You may be stuck and feeling like, I don't know what to do. Or they may be looking at you like, Scorpio, it, 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 like I say, like I heard like I heard this person say, they go page of pinnacle. Somebody finna start talking to you. Like I say, like I heard that, that voice say, she is Scorpio don't want me because if Scorpio want me, I run the Scorpio. I feel like they know that it, they can't have you unless you say so, especially with this empress sitting here. Oh, they know that you're full of love. That's why they love. That's why they, they want you even more. Some of you guys are parents. Some of you guys are mothers or fathers. But it's this, it's this, it's this uh, growth energy that you have around you. You have so much abundance around you. You, you just, you just that chick. You everybody, okay? <laughs> You you just uh, uh 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 you just in a class all by yourself here, Scorpio. 
So I feel like this is why this person knows that they can't have you unless you say so. They're hoping that you change your mind, Scorpio. I feel like this person wants you to change your mind. So they're going to go to the moon card again. They go to the moon, moon card again. Why is this moon here? Somebody's emotions here. Three of swords. So someone's heart is still broken here. So you may be still, some Scorpios are still in delay energy, still holding back. Um, even though I feel like this person wants to reach out to you. But like I said, I feel like this person in their feelings. See, you got the moon card over here with the king of cups. The king of cups and the empress. Now, they may, they may be looking at you like you're blocking them with the seven of wands, or they could be looking at you like they're coming in to stand their ground and fight for it. They could be saying you're standing your ground because I see you 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 halted here, your stagnation with you. There, there's no movement between the two of you uh, with this hangman energy here. But this other, uh, this other moon card is the moon card and the king of cups. This person is in their feelings. They're finally addressing their feelings. And I feel like this this is you in tune with how you feel. You're in tune with this person did this to you. This is why there is no movement between the two of you in this hangman energy. And I feel like you may have not talked to this person. This person may have, I don't know, I feel like this person wants to come in and bring some good news to bring to change your perception of them. Because I feel like this person wants to do things for you, Scorpio. I feel like this person is not going to come in empty-handed, but... I feel like it could be this person too in this moon energy and this three of swords because this person, they just left something. But I feel like this person is broken. They're broken based on a karmic lesson. And I feel like their karmic lesson that they got was way much more severe than yours because the, the lesson you got was from them. You got a heartbreak. But I feel like this person in their own personal karmic lesson, it was way much more severe. I feel like they're still dealing with their emotions. They're still dealing with things, including their feelings towards you. So like I said, this person's emotions is all over. All, see, they in the, they're in the nine of swords energy as well. I feel like this person wants to lay it all to rest. I feel like they want to walk away from something and they don't want to be done with it no more. And I feel like it's whatever they're leaving because it's really had a toll on them, Scorpio. Oof. Scorpio. But see, this is why you're showing up in the Emperor. I mean, with the Queen of Cups, though. The Queen of Cups and the Star card, because I feel like for whoever this is for, I feel like Spirit is telling you, if you want your person, you can get them back because you can heal the relationship. But you're going to have to be healed first. And the Queen of Cups does self-healing. But with the Star card and the Temperance card here, you can very well heal it between the two of you. That's if you want to. But this person can't come to you. They can't love you. They can't show you that they've changed if you don't let them. And that's for whoever's supposed to. Now, that's on y'all. Now, clarify this Ten of Wands. The Emperor. They go to the Emperor. Look. They see? They go to your Emperor. Your Emperor's head is overloaded. Now, for some of y'all, this was your Emperor. So for some of y'all, this is a child's dad. There's a whole family that you have with this person. They go that three of pentacles again here. Hmm. Wait a minute, y'all. I got to I'm listening to music with my headphones on, so I might be sounding loud. <laughs> Pardon me. Clarify this three of pentacles. Mm -hmm. King of pentacles here. See, somebody got some money, Scorpio. Now, wait a minute. With this Ten of Wands, they're overloaded now. The Emperor and, ooh, this could be some type of work relationship here. Now, for some of y'all, this is a work relationship that you are ending and you become your own boss. Somebody's coming in to partner up with you, or this person here. They were some. This person is overworked, overburdened. This person has a lot. To, I feel like whoever this person is, Scorpio. If they if they work for themselves, then they got a lot on their plate. 
I feel like this person going to court based on something dealing with money or a job. It could be a relationship. But I see them in the court system. They're going to have to pay out some money for something. You got temperance here. For some of y'all, you're dealing with a Sagittarius here. They're, really, they're trying to release a burden. They're going to release a burden here. I don't know if they're going to take control of the situation, but I feel like it's some type of partnership with someone they work with. And this could have been a relationship. See, I don't even want to see the relationship, but we see the three swords here. So it's like it was a relationship here. Either, either it was a romantic relationship or a job relationship, but I feel like it was a job relationship because you got too many people in here. I feel like it was a, a friendship. You know how you, you, you work together as friends and it don't work? I'm getting that vibe with this Three of Cups and now Three of Pentacles. I feel like it was a work relationship that went bad and your person is going to court because of it. And now they just want to put everything behind them now. Especially if they fell out with a, a good friend or some friends here. It's like this person wants to get away from it. They want to leave it all behind and they want to come to you and start a life with you and just forget about their, their whatever they left. They don't want they don't want nothing else to do with it. What's up with the seven of cups for Scorpio Spirit? Clarify seven of cups. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles here. Now either this is illusions, fantasies, or, or, or options. The Ten of Pentacles has been showing up. Ooh, that's you, huh? There you go. See? This person is in La La Land. Oh, I feel like all this person do is think about you. See? Because with this Moon card and this King of Cups, they're in their feelings. Their feelings are on the surface level. Now, they, they're in tune with their... Look, he just closed his eyes. This person is, is in tune with their emotions. Their emotions are getting the best in them. They're in their feelings, Scorpio. And they see a whole beautiful life with you. I feel like this person's in the love zone over you. That two of cups, that support. See, ain't this support? Told you somebody's universe was coming in to, to uh, lighten the load. This is this that's the partnership right there, that two of cups. I was telling you about. I told you I seen the two of ones and the two of cups. They go that two of cups. This is a partnership. This is a very, very loving partnership coming in, a long-term relationship, something that you guys can build together, Scorpio. This person wants to build it in love. This, ooh, shit, I just heard that. See that, Scorpio? This person wants to build this relationship in love. It's going to be from heart, from the heart, from love this time, not from ego. This person chooses you because they say they don't have any connection. They said they, if, if they build a, a, a empire and get wealthy, they'd rather get wealthy with you, Scorpio, because don't nobody else know them like you. And they don't feel as comfortable and safe than you. And this Queen of Cups, they know the Queen of Cups ain't going to hurt nobody. Now, unless you provoke now. I'm just saying, you provoke then. Hey, all bets are off. That's on you then. Clarify this Two of Cups. Ooh, the chariot car. See, this person really having to overcome some challenges. I'm telling you, this is probably why you got the seven of wands. I'm telling you what this person had to fight their way out of. Look, chariot car. Let me show you again over here. As I pulled a lot of cards. The eight of swords here. I feel like this is your person here. Eight of swords here. They're stuck with what? Inner conflict or conflict. They're, they're surrounded by conflict. I feel like this is mental as well as physical. Could be altercations that they found themselves in here. But it was a toxic karmic connection. All of this hating ass energy, people wanting to fuss and fight. I feel like it's here too many people fussing and fighting around this person. Could have got into arguments, could have got into fights. But this person was bound to somebody, but I feel like it was a work thing. Look, but then you got the justice card. I feel like I said somebody person in jail and got has to fight while someone else is just going through the court systems uh, because of a karmic connection that they were affiliated with. And it was more than one person. See, it could have been a love relationship. could have been a love triangle. could have been a friendship gone bad. But your person was stressing about it. They're worried about it because remember, they're going through the courts for this and justice card. So your person's going through a lot. Look, you got the lover's card underneath the bottom. So this could have been about another lover, Scorpio. Like I said, it could have been a love relationship. could have been a friendship that started working together that it ended badly when they did that. 
But yeah, you got this chariot card. Your person coming for you, honey. If you let them know, Scorpio, and I feel like this is all they think about. They they full they in la la land. Now now some of these you might be saying your person will fail and bump their head, but this is how they feel. All right, clarify this temperance card for Scorpio wise this here. Like I say, you got the lovers card. Some of y'all dealing with the Gemini. This person needs balance. It could be overworking here. See? Temperance card. They go to temperance card again. I feel like somebody person may be a workaholic. Somebody person may be addicted to money. It's something that your person is doing a lot about that they're they're stuck in, that they're addicted to it. Now, either this person, I don't see no cups. I feel like it, it could be a, a they. I don't know. It could be an addiction here. It's something going on with your person that has them stuck in something that's very, very unhealthy here that they're trying to release. And I feel like it's job related or someone they work with, once again, with their three of pentacles as well as their three of cups. Look, there go that lover's card again. Clarify this eight of swords. You see, it could be another lover. This is why your person fighting their way. I see they finna walk away. Told you, your person walking away. Eight, eight, whatever it was, they finally walking away. Unless it's from you. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, okay. So this King of Pentacles up here. So this is somebody else. See, like I said, they was overworking themselves. Oh, that's what it is. This person was overworking themselves to please this Queen of Pentacles because they showed up as a King of Pentacles. Mm. I feel like in this Emperor energy, they're trying to take control over their life and release this burden, which is this connection. Because I feel like whoever they were with, they started working together. But it wasn't a fair, balanced relationship. And I feel like it's going to go to court. It could have been that somebody stepped out, somebody was stealing, somebody was doing something here. See, they walking away from it though, Scorpio, to, to bring balance back in their life. They're disconnecting. Here, see, this two of swords, this person going through, see? This person was in their mind confused as long as that's with that Queen of Pentacles, but they know what they want now. They go that Six of Cups again. See, they coming back to you, Scorpio. They go that lover's card. They coming back to you because they choose you now. They were scared to choose in the past, but the universe split it up. It's so karmic and so toxic. Now, anybody with a right mind going to get the hell out. And your person wants to be happy. And they realize who makes them happy, Scorpio. And it's you. They choose you, Scorpio. See, they're not happy in their life. See, they ain't finna do this to you no more because I feel like they had it done to them. They ain't gonna do you wrong now because they had to have it done to them. See, death to the ego. They don't want it to be over with, Scorpio. See, they want to start over. See, get this money. And they're going to work as much as you want them to, Scorpio. This person going to come in as a single person this time, Scorpio. I'm telling you. They coming in as a single person, but they broke down and they need you to, if you really love this person, if you really can forgive them, if you want, and I don't need nobody to come in this section telling me what you don't need and Look, listen here, Scorpios. We know our worth. We don't have to take an X back. Uh, but thanks, brown eyes. Look, girl, I don't need you to tell me that. And they don't need you to tell them that either. Because everybody don't carry your same um, opinion now. Some people want to X back the right way, mind you. Now, no one ever said that they want something from the past that's the same crap they left. No. But everyone can and do change. Didn't you? Can't you? Can't we all? Well, if Scorpio can do it, anyone can do it, but especially for whoever the spread is for, honey, because you do have the star card as well as the temperance card. So it can work. Scorpio can heal. You know Scorpio can heal them with their love. The Queen of Cups and the star card and all this person wishing for you. I'm telling you, this person will come in and do it right this time, Scorpio, if you want them. If you want them, they, they here for you, Scorpio. Spirit said, if you want this person, Scorpio, you can have them. It's up to you. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. If this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit your notification bell, Scorpio. Leave me a comment, and I will talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpio.